Hey, we're going full throttle. It's the last and largest day at yeah. the 70th annual 70th in HRA US Nationals at Lucas Oil Raceway in Brownsburg. It's always a fun time, isn't it? it is. Fox 59's Kid Hanley live for us outside the track this morning. Mm -hmm. She has more on the excitement and what's in store for fans today. Good morning. Angela and Daniel, good morning, and oh man, does it smell good. We are here at the Raceview Family Campgrounds. People are up early and ready for this last and best day of the U.S. Nationals. And you know what makes it easier for people to wake up? When you have awesome guys like Doug the Donut Guy here with Hometown Mini Donuts, Inc., getting them ready for this last day of celebrations here. Doug, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you. It is so good to be here with you. So can you talk about what kind of things you serve here in this cute little mini donut truck? Well, we serve, uh, actually we serve donuts and gravy for this particular event. We also have biscuits and gravy. They have a whole assortment of like 20 plus flavors of sugar donuts, ice donuts, cinnamon roll donuts. And we also have coffee and things that for the, for the campers here. Amazing, and we can already tell people love him here. He's been here for the last 16 years serving race fans with some of these delicious treats. Now, Doug, can you show us kind of how this works here? Walk us through it. Yeah, we've made our uh, special batter inside here, and then we uh, just going to plop these donuts right out here into the machine, and they'll, they'll come down through here, through a little uh, uh, river of love, we like to call it. And then uh, it'll float down, and this will flip them over. Let's talk about the atmosphere here. So for the past 16 years, you've gotten to know these race fans. They've probably become your family. What's it been like here the past years and this week? Oh, it's wonderful. My uh, it, uh, Most of these campers have seen my kids grow up since they were, you know, in sixth grade. And my youngest one was not even in school yet at the time. And so it's been... Uh, they, they, they always ask about where they're at now, and of course they're all grown up and gone, so uh, we love them to death. My wife is, is here today too, and she's she's always helping me out here. Sometimes it gets a little bit busy around here, so we we, we definitely a family place for us. Well, that is beautiful, and you know the track is really just across the street. What's it like when those draggers or dragsters actually start to fire up? Oh, it is wonderful and exhilarating, and, and I, we get the best of both worlds. We live about two miles from here, so we can hear them still running even when we're not here. <laughs> oh, gosh, Doug. Well, that's awesome. Take a look at those donuts. They look so delicious, light, and airy. Now, you guys, if you still want to get your tickets and come out here to enjoy some of these donuts, you can buy your tickets at the NHRA.com slash tickets and you can watch the finals live from 2 to 5 p.m. right here on Fox 59. Now Doug we're gonna have you place these donuts right down there so Marcus can get one last final shot. They look delicious. Thank you so much Doug. It's been great chatting with you and there are people in line so we got to get it back to you. Angela Daniel back to you. People in line and you're taking up yeah, their time. Yeah we needed to know it looked like there was icing and then it looked like cinnamon yeah, sugar was, and then it lot. looked like caramel and then it looked like I don't know what. And she didn't eat one. What's up with that? I want to know about so those. I want to know about those draggers though. She was <laughs> talking about those draggers. I want to know about That's a different that. story for a different time. <laughs>